Welcome to the stock workout where we flex on the market to make gains. In this video I'm going to be talking about Luo Kong Technology Corp ticker symbol LKCO. Now this has had a lot of bullish news come about it. Um, it has rocketed higher up 22% on Friday at $2.37. Over the past few months this stock had been really really beat down due to a bit of bad news um, but it has overcome that bad news. It has had a decision turned in its favor and this is due to absolutely rock it higher so i wanted to bring it to everybody's attention i wanted to go through it do a bit of technical analysis go through a bit of news that's dropped recently um, so you can get familiar with this stock now i have covered this before i covered it quite a while back um, that was when it was on its downturn um, but then the news came out that it was going to be delisted due to it being linked to the chinese communist party uh, it's overcome that news now and i'll go through it in a second um, just to give you a quick introduction so Luo Kong technology corp operates as a graphics data processing technology company it engages in the provision of interactive location-based services um, so it's a location-based services company they recently acquired a company called emap go they landed a new contract so we're going to go through that as well and then we'll take a look at the charts and do some technical analysis um so let's start off with this bit here so is the this article here from drp gazette it says is the rally real Luo Kong technology corp stock extends gains um further down it says so Luo Kong announces removal from executive order list favorable conclusion of Department of Defense designation matter. So they announced today that the US Department of Defense DOD has removed the company's designation as a communist Chinese military company. In addition, as a result of the omission of the company from the executive order, which amends and supersedes order, um, whatever them numbers are, in imposing restrictions on trading shares of certain Chinese companies, Liu Kong and its shareholders are no longer subject to any restrictions according to this order, right? So DOD confirmed the foregoing to Liu Kong and the US District Court for the District of Columbia. So in light of the foregoing, Liu Kong and the government defendants have filed a joint stipulation to have the company's lawsuit challenge challenging the designation voluntary dismissed, which will bring the lawsuit to a close. So um, then it goes on to say Liu Kong has gained eligibility for inclusion in the FTSE GEIS microcap index and expects that it will be re-included in such an index upon the open of the stock market on June the 21st 2021. Now that is really bullish news um, because they are no longer restricted according to the Department of Defense. Uh, they're filing a um, a joint stipulation to have the lawsuit closed basically to have it dismissed now that it has been removed um, from having these restrictions and it has the DOD has removed the company's designation as a communist Chinese military company so now Liu Kong are looking to close out that case uh, restrictions have been lifted so you know bullish news and they're looking to have the lawsuit closed that's more bullish that's the next thing that we want to see the lawsuit closed thrown out of the window finished done and dusted um, they have been um, they've regained eligibility for inclusion into the FTSE GIS microcap index and they are going to be re-included on June the 21st so they're going to be re-included in this index that will probably push the price up higher uh, the CEO drops a quote down here um, he says we are pleased with this favorable outcome for Luokong and its shareholders in the coming weeks we expect to provide additional updates on our operations we feel that the market potential for our spatial temporal technology will only continue to grow due to the expansion of autonomous applications finally our recent closing of the emap go technologies acquisition is Indica indicative of our belief in the market potential of combining Luokong's core technologies with EMAPGO's leading position in the advanced driving assistance system and autonomous driving industries. We are very relieved to put this challenge behind us and plan to continue to focus on building value for all of our shareholders. So that's the news that's come out brilliant that is something that has been going on for quite a while if i'm honest it's been a few months this has been going on and lingering on and the share price was quite beat down for Luo Kong technology now we've overcome this 
and they're going to be re-included into this uh, index, this FTSE index, microcap index. That's brilliant news to see. The CEO mentioned EMAP Go. EMAP Go has some news as well. So move on to this article here. Um, it says Lukong Technology announces subsidiary EMAP Go's contract win for new generation traffic control network and smart highway demonstration project. So it says here Lukong uh, Technology, a leading spatial temporal intelligent big data service company and provider of interactive location based services and HD maps in China. So they today announced that it's wholly owned subsidiary EMAP Go Technologies, a leading provider of navigation and electronic map services in China has entered and this is the important point has entered into a contract to deliver a new generation traffic control network and smart highway demonstration project for the expressway i'm not going to i'm not going to butcher that word uh, but for the expressway in the pro in this province of china so this article then goes on to say, according to the terms of the contract, EMG will be responsible with the, so EMG is EMAPS Co, will be responsible for the development and implementation of a 3D real life highway digital management system for the new generation smart highway demonstration project for this expressway uh, a digital management system will provide real-time road information and intelligent operation management to support the latest smart transportation such as lane navigation autonomous driving road coordination and vehicle road collaboration while increasing safety and decreasing congestion for improved road maintenance and management then it goes on to say Lukong smart um, transportation business includes both car terminal service and road terminal service providing autopilot HD map data services uh, for car manufacturers and developing smart road digital services uh, the CEO dropped another statement he says we are excited about EMG's selection as the provider for this innovative smart highway project uh, which we believe is a testament to our leading position um, I won't read on there uh, it's getting a bit lengthy but I will drop the link to these articles in the description down below so you can take a look at them yourself. But basically, EMAP Go landed a new contract in China uh, for this smart motorway project. They're going to be implementing a 3D real life highway digital management system. Uh, pretty cool, in my opinion. Um, on top, Department of Defense. So the DOD has removed the company, uh, the company's designation as a communist Chinese military company. Brilliant to see. Restrictions lifted. Restrictions lifted. Where is this stock price going if it's not going up? This is going to rocket much higher. Friday, 22%. It increased by huge gains. Um, and I'll zoom out here. So this is Lung Kong Technology. This is the hourly chart I've got up here. Let me zoom out. And if I zoom out up to here. As you can see, in the few months before, we had this huge run up and a huge absolute huge run up and then we saw a huge sell off uh the stock had been bouncing around uh due to news coming out about their court case their lawsuit um whether they were a chinese communist uh party affiliated company or not um so the stock did bounce around and then since this point here so since around um last month around the 24th of may we have been seeing a new uptrend and this was when news started coming out about them not being affiliated with the chinese communist party you know things were progressing in their lawsuit um and now we've had restrictions lifted which is the most bullish news that we could have come across um alongside this new contract for emaps go um brilliant absolutely brilliant to see so I'm going to start off by saying on this hourly chart, I have got the 21 day EMA on the screen alongside the 50, 100 and 200 day moving averages. I have the volume and the RSI on the screen. Now, let's start off with volume. Volume was at 24 million, 24.6 million and the average 10 day volume has only been 14 million. So it is nearly double, nearly double its uh, average 10 day volume. Brilliant to see. You can see these uh, these candles are starting to spike up here now that 21 day ema that 21 day ema uh back on this 24th of may crossed above that 50 day moving average and a couple of days later crossed over that 100 and 200 day moving average as well now 
21 day EMA crossing over all three moving averages is a bullish indicator very very bullish um, we did see a dip below that 50 day moving average and so then we did pick back up um, since picking back up currently as it stands now we are above all three moving averages so we are above that 50 100 and 200 day moving average now that is brilliant to see uh, that means we are in very very bullish territory bulls are in control but we need to take a look at the rsi so with the rsi anything over 70 is overbought anything under 30 is oversold rsi currently sits at 72 on this hourly chart rsi is at 72 so that shows we are in the overbought territory and if that rsi does drop and come in between the ranges of 30 to 70 um so if it comes down slightly we may see that price retrace slightly but with this um with this uh, stock being included in that FTSE microcap index we may see this spike slightly higher before seeing any form of retracement but the ranges are between 30 and 70 is the normal range anything above 70 is overbought so we are slightly overbought at this moment in time um, this might even continue to go higher and in, further into this uh, overbought territory with this microcap index inclusion uh, coming in on the 21st um, also with other people buying this stock now that it is not restricted department of defense has uh given a response that's in favor for the company we may see this spike slightly higher on the rsi uh, but be aware that we are currently in overbought territory so advice um although this is not financial advice so everybody do your own due diligence um what i would do is i would wait for this to dip slightly and buy it on the dip it will dip at some point um being in overbought territory when you see that rsi come down slightly and you see that share price do does dip slightly that would be the perfect opportunity to buy in now on this chart um this level this point that we're at now so in the after hours we we went down to two dollars and 35 on friday um at this point here so at two dollars and 37 this was a point that we were unable to break out of a number of days ago so on the 14th of june about a week ago um we were unable to break out of that now the last thing we want to see is a double top formation i don't think we will see that though uh bulls are in control 21 day ema trading above all three moving averages as you can see here the white line is above the green blue and red line um we want to see that volume stay high uh that's another thing but let's talk about the next level of resistance and to see that we need to zoom out a bit and zooming out a bit on this hourly chart to show the last few months um price action is actually pretty interesting because the price that we're at now we are above this peak that we saw here on the uh 19th of march we are above that we are also above this peak here that we saw on the 3rd of may um so we have set higher highs but we have not reached our all-time high yet all-time high being all the way um up here at around what's that coming in at about three dollars and 85 now three dollars 85 that is our all-time high and that would be our strongest level of resistance um right at the top but we do have some levels of resistance that we were unable to break out around here so on the shorter term um i would call two dollars 77 a good point that we need to break out of um two dollars 77 i would have as my immediate target uh to break out and sustain above that price and then eventually retest the all-time high at three dollars and 85 so now I've zoomed back in $2.77 will be my immediate level of uh, resistance that I would be looking to break out of. Um, let's talk support levels. Um, support levels for this because it has been quite volatile and it has been affected by these um, outside factors being the Department of Defense um, and the restrictions that have been placed on this. I would play this as a stock that has its levels of support at these three moving averages um so i would call the the first level of support i would call at this 50 day moving average um that currently is at two dollars and one cents at that 50 day moving average right now uh two dollars and one cents and my next um level of support i would call at one dollars and 78 which is the 100 day moving average 
Now, if you see that price come down and bounce off air or, you know, hit any of these moving averages, that should be an indicator that um, that may be a price to buy at. If it holds that level of support, then definitely we'd be looking for a bounce off that. Um, and it has bounced, the stock has bounced off that 50 day moving average pretty recently before. Uh, it bounced off it around here. It bounced off it around here again. Um, and it is also sort of just about touched it twice here and bounced off it. So if we do see a retrace because the RSI is in that overbought territory if you see a retracement slightly and you do see it come down towards that 50 day move average and it holds that might be a buy signal um, so support currently lies at two dollars and one cents and one dollar and 78 cent which is the 100 day moving average I'm not gonna uh, put the 200 day moving average on the chart because that is quite further down below at one dollars 56 and we will we will have to see some form of a heavy retracement or bad news to have to come down to that which I don't believe we are going to have anytime soon um, new contract by emap go restrictions lifted inclusion on a um, micro cap index and and the, obviously the favorable decision that department of, of defense have given and the fact that low Kong technology are filing now for this lawsuit to be dismissed this is all bullish things for for lkco these are all bullish things for lkco so currently support at the 50 day moving average and 100 day moving average they're the two supports that i will be looking for uh resistance at two dollars 77 after two dollars 77 we are talking about retesting all-time highs so then after that we are talking about going all the way back up to three dollars and 85 so they're the price points to be aware of we are in a solid uptrend we are in a solid uptrend and we are trending up setting higher highs and higher lows so there are things to be uh to keep in mind uh but the main thing that to keep in mind for the next few trading days is that rsi and that volume so we want that volume to stay high but we also need to take a look at the rsi buy it on the dips don't buy in when the rsi is in the overbought territory buy it when the rsi is in or close to the oversold territory um, and you've got a couple of examples of that here so I'll give you a few examples uh, before I wrap things up. Um, you can see here we had an RSI of just around 80 and that was over here at $2, around $2.28. Um, and then after after uh, two days, we or on the third day, I think this is coming out, uh, we saw the RSI come down to 42.95. Now from $2.28 uh, around there, at this low of this RSI, the price came down to $1.84. So you already had around a 50 cent decrease in price. Um, and that was when the RSI was quite close to oversold territory before it then picked back up and uh, carried on rallying higher. So if you bought down here when the RSI was close to the oversold territory at around $1.85, uh, and right now the price is back up at $2.35. So Playing it by the RSI is a good tactic, um, especially on these uh, small penny stocks that are more volatile than usual. Um, so you could play it according to that. So don't buy it when the RSI is in the overbought territory because you immediately you'll see a retracement. Within the next few hours uh, or in the next few days, you'll see yourself in the minus. Whereas if you buy it in the oversold territory because the market is oversold for this stock and you buy it, when the market sentiment picks back up and people start picking up more cheap shares, you'll ride that wave higher. Um, so that's it. I've given you the support levels and resistance levels. We've gone through the news. LKCO, brilliant news. And now it is time for this to take off. Uh, that's it for this video. If you appreciate that, hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel so I can keep bringing you more content and I'll see you on the next one.